Let's gratitude and deep gratitude. Hi, Lorianne. Hi, Marianne. See, it is being live streamed. Indeed, it is. Hey, Jill. Hi, Mary. Hi, York. Welcome. I love it. Mm. Lesson three twenty nine. I have already chosen what you will, Father. I thought I wandered from your will, defied it, broke its laws, and interposed a second will more powerful than yours. Yet what I am in truth is but your will, extended and extending. This am I, and this will never change. As you are one, so am I one with you. And this I choose in my creation, where my will became forever one with yours. That choice was made for all eternity. It cannot change and be in opposition to itself. Father, my will is yours and I am safe, untroubled and serene in endless joy because it is your will that it be so. Today we will accept our union with each other and our source. We have no will apart from his. And all of us are one because his will has shared, is shared by all. Through it, we recognize that we are one. Through it, we find our way at last to God. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, there is one will, and that is indeed the will of God. However, the egoic mind and the body would like to believe that there is a will that can be enforced that is its own, that is separate than, separate from. It looks for the distinction that says, I can make up my own mind. I can go my own way. And beloveds understand that this is the perpetuation of the world of illusion. For really, there is only the mind of God, the will of God, the heart of God. As you go about your days today, for many of you, this is a time of thanksgiving. Imagine if each day being celebrated, thanksgiving, and families came together People spoke what it is that they are grateful for. This is indeed the kingdom of heaven. This is indeed the way in which you go about your life, releasing and relinquishing the egoic will that believes that it knows, that believes that it is separated somehow. Beloved, it's for you to fall back into the arms of grace, for you to come into remembrance of the love that you are, the divinity that you are, the hope that you are, the grace that you are, means that you have surrendered yourself because you have been fighting for so long against yourself and against others. You have believed that there is something wrong in every situation. You have felt lonely, you have felt sad, you have felt desperate. Beloved, all of that is indeed the illusion, the truth of you is that when you surrender yourself to the will of God, everything that you have known as illusion vanishes. 
and you are left with but the truth of you. Mm. The truth of you that is the beauty, the truth of you that is the harmony and the peace, the truth of you that is the love. If you were able to hop upon a train and know that the destination was that you would be returned to the kingdom, understand that this is your life. And there are many stops that are being made along the way and sometimes you decide to exit the train and indulge yourself in a lifetime here or a lifetime there. And then you find your way back onto the train knowing that it has but one destination and that is your ultimate freedom. So you can decide whether or not you wish to stop, you wish to indulge, in all myriad of thoughts, all myriad of relationships and illusions, or you can just stay knowing that this is a train that will take you to peace, to joy, to everything that you ever desired. Beloveds, know that every thought that you think does indeed manifest and create. Can you align yourself? Can you commit yourself to think of love? to think with love, to think as love. You are the train, you are the conductor, you are the passengers, you are the journey. You are the very journey that takes you back home, the place you have never left. And yet you feel you have stopped and you feel that you are these myriad of characters and notions and thoughts and lifetimes and beliefs. Beloveds, it is indeed a movie that you have been watching upon the train. And finally, when you arrive at your destination, you step into the consciousness, this Christ of consciousness that is only love, that is tenderness. It is an easy path, one that is filled so much joy, so much love. So allow yourself today, beloveds, to awaken to the fact that this journey is yours and it not only belongs to you, it belongs to everyone. See them as passengers on the train with you, beloveds. See all of us on this journey together. Know that we have created this and we can just as easily allow ourselves to remember that Surrendering to the will, surrendering to the will of the creator is much like understanding that there is only one direction that you are ultimately headed. You can run towards the past. You can be afraid of the future. But really, beloveds, all there is to do is to exist in this moment of knowing that you are here to enjoy the ride of your lifetime. So allow yourself to find a connection to the will that has been granted to you is the greatest gift. Be thankful, have gratitude for the journey. For the journey belongs to love, the journey belongs to light, the journey belongs to life and the journey belongs to God. It is yours, yours to celebrate. And you got on the train. So the choice has indeed already been made. Enjoy the journey, beloveds. Celebrate, celebrate everything that occurs today. Be thankful for the people that you love. Be thankful for the people that you struggle with. For they are aspects of yourself that have come home to roost. I've come home to remind you that only love is real. Blessings to you, beloved ones. I love you and I will speak with you again. Thanks for being here, everyone. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow.